Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to hang out in between videos, come check out the Discord. We're also doing fun stuff exclusively over on Patreon. Uh, we're doing Queendom, Mortal Songs 2 performances, and we're right in the middle of the FW concert uh, right now. So if you'd like to check it out, head on over to Patreon. But today, we are doing the next solo album, um, Red by We It. So this one, I think it might be the longest solo album reaction we've done because there are a lot of special clips in this album. Um, so we've got a concept film, we've got some MVs, we've got performance films, lives, um, all sorts of stuff. So buckle in, this might be a bit of a longer one. Let's go. All right, so we are going to start off with the concept film. I imagine this is kind of like a little teaser trailer for the album. Ooh. It's like a blood spatter painting. That's kind of cool. Reminds me uh, a little bit of Dexter. Red with two D's. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean, but here we go. Watercolor. Post party. <laughs> I mean, you can say that again. Oh, she did. She had any part in drawing that. 
painting that. All right. Um, that was a lot bouncier and poppier than I was expecting. It's still got like that R&B flavor and like a very distinct vibe from We In, but like it was much brighter and bouncier than I kind of expected from a song called Watercolor, right? When I think of watercolor, I kind of think of paintings in general. I, I tend to think of tranquil uh, feelings, but I really like how bouncy this song is. Um, I think the art themes that kind of go through We In Solo projects are always very interesting because it's a very different insight into her from the group stuff. Um, I'm not sure 100% what this song is uh, about yet because I was paying so much attention to the video, but it, it felt more like expressing all of the different sides of her, right? Like all of the different feelings and um, versions of her and all of them be good. Um, all of them, I think, I look good in everything wasn't so much just a swaggy kind of way of saying I, I'm, you know, incredibly attractive. She is. But um, also a way of saying, like, I can fit all of these different sides of me, and all of those sides are still, you know, me. I, I And they fit me, personally. Because um, I, I feel like... You know, she talks about painting over th this f these feelings so that she can't forget them, and she talks about painting all these different style or these different things with different colors and all that. So I, I feel like maybe it has something to do with that, uh, but I think I'll have to read the lyric a little more closely to find out for sure. Well, let's do that. <laughs> I will drown me. See, I am Johnny Joga. Pick out the young young doll. What about me? Keep on some sunny, but you'll be so my man. You need to go in. No, you're in. It was so dark. Okay, that might be a slightly different translation, but I like that one as well. We'll talk about that a little later.
같이 하러 올려. 자, I think another interpretation of this, rather than the different sides of her, she's talking about gaining colors and adding them, uh, and that she looks good in any color, uh, and filling herself up with these colors. Though maybe those colors aren't so much different sides of her, but new experiences, new skills, new things. Um, keep growing, keep learning, keep adding. And no matter what she does with all of these, that she looks good in them. And she can absorb those colors and still look good and still be herself. And then when things dry over and it feels like things are getting stale, she adds and paints over top of it and it grows even more. So maybe this song isn't so much about expressing different sides of herself as it is about saying, you know, like I can consistently want to grow as a person uh, and I'm going to continue to do that and it's going to be fantastic because it's no matter what it is it's still me so it's it is a little swaggy but it is a little more uh, talking about like personal growth potentially what do you guys think it's uh, this song is at its core um I do think it's a really fun kind of R&B pop vibe to it I really enjoy this track a lot. Um, next up, we are going to see the live band version. I couldn't find like a dance practice per se, so um, we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> Got a little behind the scenes stuff too. <laughs> All right, let's go weep up. I love when Mamamoo uh, does these it lives it's lives they're fun. 안녕하세요. 마마무 휘인입니다. 어, 네. 제 솔로 이제 첫 미니 앨범이 발매가 됐는데요. 시작해 볼까요? Usually there's some piece of the production that stands out more than in the studio version. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Hmm. That was fun. I think uh, for me, that one in the production itself, um, the per percussion like section kind of stood out a lot more than in the studio version, which is always uh, really interesting to find like what fills the sound of the back production a little more. Um, I mean, she sounded fantastic. That's a no brainer. Um, I was wondering if we were going to get some choreo through it or not. I, I'm kind of glad we don't because we're going to going to do another live after this, and maybe that one will have some choreo involved with it. Because I know there was some choreo in the music video, but I'd like to see if there's a like a full on production dance for it. Um, but yeah, I think the bass line is really nice in the song, and then I'm not sure what that main kind of set of chords is for the instruments. It, it sounds like it's coming from the, the keyboardist, but it, it's almost like an organ sound than it is a, a like a regular piano. Um, I don't know, but I'm no, I'm no musically inclined person uh, myself, so I making educated guesses here. Uh, anyway, let's go on to the sketchbook version. Thank you. Sketchbook? Uh, I think so. Yeah. kind of very Michael Jackson-esque ending there. I think even with like the hat and the uh, and the suit combo, very kind of MJ inspired. Um, I think that choreo is a lot of fun. I, it's 
just kind of enough choreo to really add to the song without feeling like it's detracting from the stability of her vocals or making her work too hard for it. Um, it was, the song is like, she's had other songs that have like absolutely blown me away. Um, and her R&B, like pure R&B songs are kind of in that category of things as well as Goodbye, which is a ballad, but this song is kind of the most fun of the um, solo stuff by Wien that we've seen so far. Um, all right, next up is Trash, which has a special video. I'm not sure if this means it's a performance video or a MV, but let's find out. grainy 4-3 feel in it. Okay, um, all right, let's, what else was in here? This just the, I do want to quickly go find where that code was because I'm curious as someone who writes code for a living, what that was. Here. Okay. Okay. So. Oh. It's. It's garbage collection. Ah. Uh, that's a funny little joke. Okay. It's the garbage collector. Okay. For anybody who doesn't know, um, 
sometimes when you write code and you run things, um, you get some extra stuff that ends up in memory. Um, and certain languages have garbage collectors which come back and clean out all of the trash uh, stuff that's no longer needed to be used in memory that is left over. This kind of frees up space for things. Um, that's funny. All right, cool. Uh, I think I was not expecting PH1 to be on this. I didn't. I didn't know. Um, he, it, this was a feature song, but it, it, he had a nice piece to it. It was like I've, I don't think I've ever heard him before. I, he's a uh, he harmony one. Is that what the full name of uh, his group is? Um, and then like he, I was also kind of surprised at the like the spiciness level of this song. It was a very like sensual song. Um, because at first I wasn't really sure what they meant by my head is trash and my head's filled with trash. And then it kind of became more clear as it was going along was that essentially the head, her head was filled with uh, naughty thoughts, essentially. Um, and if you knew what she was thinking about or what he was thinking about, that it would be, you would call them trash. Um, fair enough. All right, let's get into the lyrics. on this song it makes it, it gives it that very um, funky r&b kind of vibe to it oh, no. when you're with me i'll be thinking about your body so no no i'm on the cabinet to go to mama don't make me know what needs your love till the morning on the road it all the drop it's so good for you when i know i'm taxing i'm never gonna stop getting cooking no good in there the picture boy my city i get a hug at you she might like you don't in this track are fantastic and we ends like head voice in some of the backing track sections um are absolutely gorgeous um that being said i don't think really anything changes from my understanding of what's going on in the song from the first listen to this one with the the full lyrics there i think i pretty much got it but um Musically, I, I think I, I noticed a lot more of the production in this one. 
um, on the second listen, and I think it's just got such a cool beat. And <laughs> I'm really impressed by this song. I think it's it's kind of like in the middle ground of where Watercolor was and something like Easy or um, 25 is, and kind of more of this even further blend of pop and R&B. Um, and I really love We In Solo stuff. Uh, it's so good. Um, okay. And we have a performance video of Crash. So we're going to get to see some choreo too. So nice. Ooh. That top we had, jeez. To the next special clip let's talk about that a little bit i think honestly that dance uh performance was really impressive um like it was not an easy choreography to do especially with all the different setups i gotta imagine if they are doing that on like a stage performance that that would be pretty tough because there's actual transitions between performance video um I wonder if there's some like connective tissue in the dance that me is only used for live performances. I don't know. Um, but like, I knew we, right? Like we knew she was a really talented dancer. But that it's always nice to see her get the chance to show it off. Um, and she really did. And I think it appropriately had some really like spicy choreography to go with the lyrics, which, you know, are spicy. Anyway, uh, let's move on to our next song, which is Oh Who? 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 I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. And 
loving the like gomo in a suit and book top uh picture here down at the bottom at the start let's go let's go <laughs> <laughs> Is this song specifically for Gomo? with this shit uh, on his face. video. That's adorable. Um, I'm guessing the song is literally about, you know, falling in love with Gomo and enjoying uh, being with your pet. And there's like nothing better than that, right? I'd say I'd bring Jax over to say hi, but he's out getting um, anyway, let's go check out the lyrics. This is just such a fun, vibey song. Like, it's a very, it's one of those songs that kind of puts me in my happy place. It's got like a, sw a swingy kind of beat to it with that guitar. And you know I love me a snap track. <laughs> Yeah, like I said before, her head voice is just, oh, 
진해져요 손끝이 따라가는 스케치로 이곳을 채울 수 있어 오만 잠시 뿐이지만 눈이 부시게 또 따스하게 yeah. 10 out of 10, no notes. Perfect song. <laughs> this is my favorite B-side from Wien. Uh, may not be like up there as my favorite song from Wien. I think that's e still either Easy or 25, but um, I think this might be my favorite B-side from her. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, it just makes me happy. It vocally, it, like definitely isn't the most impressive thing she's ever done. It's very well done but like it something about the production in this song uh, along with her vocals just it just makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside so like uh mm, this is a good one all right next up we have butterfly uh and we have a mv i think featuring g soul oh another pws one Yeah. 
Distorted low underneath. Now that I found you. Now that I found you. Oh, this song is a vocal flex, man. Okay, so maybe that one wasn't PWS, but uh, it felt like it may, might have been filmed by him. Um, G Soul was in that a lot less than I thought he was going to be, uh, I, or like who knows? Maybe there is more of a verse in a studio version, but. Vocally, that song is such a flex. She's technically so good um, as a singer, like just so absolutely talented. Um, I wasn't paying attention like at all to any. Of it. I was lost in the sound of that one. Um, okay, lyrics. I was like, where's the sound? Found you. Now that I found you. 
Interesting. Um, I think the performance video had just him doing the fly high pieces and she, her singing the rest of the song, which honestly, I think I may prefer. Um, he wasn't bad. She sold definitely had uh, some nice verses in here. But I think just vocally, um, when she was going on some of his verses on the performance track, it was just wildly impressive um as for like the content of the song i feel like it was a song about meeting someone that was that made you happy but was hard to understand and hard to live with and every time you tried to understand or grab hold of them and keep them close they were like a butterfly they flew through your uh, your grasp, right? Like they slipped out of, out of reach. Um, and they, you were burned by their dream. So they were always, like their head was always up in the clouds. They were always kind of flying away um, rather than being grounded in the relationship. And that made things difficult. And then now you're separated, but it's still hard to forget them because of who they were maybe that's the vibes i'm getting um yeah feel free to to educate me in the comments if i if i'm wrong on that that's my the interpretation that i'm all right next up we have springtime loving the acoustic guitar in these tracks Somebody's playing it live in this one. Nice.
<웃음> 아이고야. 아. Uh, ending was everything. Um All right. So like I know it said springtime, but the image that that sound of that song brings to me, like open mic cafe kind of music, right? Like open air, some, some either spring or summer, uh, being in like a small, like indie kind of cafe and somebody singing and playing a guitar in the, in the corner. That's the kind of feel that that song gives off. Um, and I love that it's a song for Moomoo. It's, it's, it's definitely a love song and it's always really sweet to see um, Mama Moo and Bin um, kind of like profess their love for Moomoo and um, know that it's always reciprocated, right? Like, Moomoo's absolutely adore Mama Moo through thick and thin no matter what. Um, and it's always nice to see that love turned around and uh, sent back. Let's go to the lyrics. was not expecting that production change. Um, so that version that we saw the special clip of must have been an acoustic version. Um, I do like the production of the song. Um, I think it's like the synth kind of sound of it is very bright and gives off this like springtime vibe. I like the acoustic version better. There's just something about somebody singing with an acoustic guitar in the room it sounds amazing so i think that's my preferred version hopefully there's an acoustic version of spotify please <laughs> please please um 
But I think the what I was saying still kind of stands about the meaning of the song. Um, you know, she's talking about how um, this love warms her heart and that uh, it never goes away, right? Like, and, and if she goes away for a little while, the love from Mumu's still there and it wakes her up every time she thinks about it, um, which is adorable. And I think, yeah, I think I'm just hoping as we're sitting here, I'm, I'm really, the acoustic version is on Spotify because I will 100% listen to this version too, but that version. All right. And then I think No Thanks is the last track on the album, I believe, but we'll see. Um, we have another special clip of Or is this a full MV? the loneliness in the song just from the video just because it's just her in this stark white room with these speakers
album is a treat for the ears, man. I think this is pretty much a a breakup song, but um and one where it's just like, hey man, uh you you left me on my own. You didn't ever put the effort into this kind of this relationship. So let's just call it here. Um Oof. So good. Why are all of these songs so good? This album is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. special one i i forgot that we had uh an, another it's live version with no thanks okay that's exciting because the song has some really cool per, uh production to it 
Um, but as far as the lyrics go, yeah, I think it pretty much is just a, a, a breakup song um, about someone feeling completely alone even while they're still in the relationship, right? So the priorities of these people in the relationship aren't the same, right? One person is focusing on the relationship and making sure that they are being attentive to their partner and the other person is focused on their own dream, doing things their own way, um, rather than putting their partner as their top priority or even one of their top priority. Um, which is rough, right? Because like, if you're going into a relationship, you really need to be on an equal plane with your partner, but on with the understanding of where where the relationship kind of sits in your priorities, right? Um, if it's something very casual and both of you have it pretty low on your priority list, that's okay. Maybe that kind of relationship can work for you too. But if there's differences in between, you know, what your priorities are and what your partner's priorities are, um, that's a recipe. But anyway, let's check out this live band. 네, 유니세프 프로미스 캠페인은 전 세계 어린이를 위기에서 지키고 돕겠다는 약속입니다. 전 세계 어린이들을 위해 지금 당신의 약속을 보여주세요. <웃음>
even though the song's kind of about of a, a sadder topic, um, there's something about that track that's just comforting. Like, I think that's the only thing I can do to describe it, that it feels comforting. Um, maybe it's the production, maybe it's her voice being just really soothing in this song, but like, it's just, it's one of those songs that just feels nice. Um, I want to say that We In So Far might have my favorite discography for solo stuff, but it's so hard to say that, right? Like, Moonbill's stuff is amazing. Boss's stuff is amazing. Solar's Gamsung album and Spit It Out have been fantastic. I'm really excited to see what I think it, her Solar's first mini album is called Face. Um, so I'm excited to see what a full album of her original music is like. Um, but there's something about We In plus R&B that just scratches this like itch deep down in my soul that goes mm, i like it <laughs> um but yeah i think that's gonna do it for us today guys so next time love you bye